y'all and welcome to today's video. I'm very excited because we are going to be playing with the Unearthly Cosmetics Bunnies palette. I have been eagerly awaiting this palette to show up at my house so I could play with it and I'm very excited. This is Unearthly Cosmetics version of a pastel palette. It's super colorful. It's super beautiful. I'm ready to play with it. And if you are new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, testing new products. We are here for it. But I cannot wait to use this palette. I hope you like today's video. I hope you will subscribe if you do like the video. But I want to put these shadows on, so let's jump into it. <music> Okay, starting off, I did receive this palette from Unearthly. I am very, very excited about this. I think the cover art is so, so pretty. And then inside we have six matte shades, and then we have six shades that are either shimmer, duochrome or multi-chrome. I am going to show you a close-up of this palette so that you can see what it looks like when it's all nice and new and not used and not swatched and all of that. It's so, so beautiful. I love the size of this. I love how everything's like compact. I love that we have a nice mirror in here. And I also want to show y'all swatches. I did these swatches just on my arm so that y'all can see. It's always fun to swatch things, see how things kind of come together, see how things are laid out. I always enjoy swatching shadows and just kind of like feeling the different formulas. I absolutely love Unearthly Cosmetics. I do have an affiliate code. If you use code Heather on the Unearthly site, you can save some money. I will list that down below. I will put a link to everything I'm using today, but I think this palette is really pretty. I want to create a fun bright, colorful look. I want to see, is this the Unearthly Cosmetics high quality, amazing eyeshadow formula that I know and love? We are going to see. Um, yeah, we're just going to create a look. I'm going to put some eye primer on. I'm going to zoom y'all in and we are going to create. Okay, my eyes are primed with my MAC Paint Pot. I am really excited to use this shade right here, the shade Spring, because when I swatched it, and I don't always swatch palettes before I test them, sometimes I do it in reverse, but I'm really glad I swatched the palette because this shade Spring has an interesting tone to it. It's not just a standard like light green or lime green. It, it had kind of a grungy tone to it. <laughs> I know grungy is not a tone, but like, I I'm sure y'all get what I'm saying. It was just more unique than I thought it would be. It's almost like if you took olive and lime green and kind of mixed them together, I don't know. There's something unique about this tone of green. So I really want to get it on my eyes and that's pretty. So these black and green brushes are unearthly brushes. I use these a lot and if you like small detailed brushes or maybe you have like smaller eyes and you want some brushes that are a little smaller, definitely check out the Unearthly brushes. But I just really, really want to have that green right here. I think that's a really pretty shade. So I'm just going to take my time and blend, 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 blend. Okay. I'm obsessed with how that is looking. <laughs> I love it. But I really want to put the purple out here. I think that's going to be beautiful. So we went in with spring first. Now we're just going to go right above that into the shade Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean. And I'm going to press this shade on first. So I'm kind of like stamping it on right on top of my eye primer and then I'll blend just so that I keep that color right where I want it. And then I can blend back and forth, back and forth. But I want a nice fade from like green to purple. Okay, we're going to do the lower lash line. And I think what we're gonna do is go in with this beautiful pink shade. I think the blue would be super pretty, but I kind of wanna 
like jump and do a hot pink lower lash line. So I'm picking this up, let me put my hair behind my ear. I gotta get close when I do my lower lash line. So I'm just going to kind of like press the brush down onto the lower lashes and then just kind of like wiggle a little bit. That way I get the most pigment right there at the lash line. And then I'll come down and I'll kind of slowly blend this shade out, just moving it back and forth, back and forth like this. That way, you know, it's kind of most saturated at the lower lash line and then fades. So just buffing now, back and forth like this. Okay, I wanna go in with one of the multi chromes on my lid. I wanna put it kind of all over. So I'm gonna use my Carla, Carla Fix Potion. I love this stuff. I'm just gonna tap this on all over the lid with my finger. I've been loving this stuff, seriously. It helps my shadows not to crease helps them to last all day, helps them to pop, helps with fall. Like, I really, really love this stuff. But I wanna go in with this shade right here. I'm not looking up, cause I don't want my, um, like I wanna leave that glue tacky, but I'm gonna go in with Golden Egg right here. I'm going to grab this on my brush and I'm just going to press that right on top of that Fix Potion. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love. And that looks beautiful next to those matte shades too. So you saw, I just went and kind of pressed it on first and then I'm kind of buffing once I get that set down. But that's a beautiful shade. I really, really, really like the way this shade looks. I really like the way it looks next to those matte shades as well. So just gonna buff that on. And then I can go back and kind of blend my crease again in just a second. But I want to highlight the inner corner. So let me, I've got a brush right here. I'm gonna clean it off on my Sigma Switch because I used it with a different shade. But I think what we'll do, okay, so we have this. What do I wanna do on the inner corner? I think a matte yellow could be pretty, but then I kinda wanna continue on the shimmer so let's go into the shade Hop right here. The one that's next to the more kind of peachy, peachy orange matte shade. And I'm gonna put that right there on my inner corner. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm going to blend a little bit more, do liner and lashes, and then I'll come back and we'll see how the look has come together and I'll kind of give you my thoughts. All right, y'all, here is my finished look. I am so, so into it. I put on some Kiss Ruffle lashes to complete this one. I am wearing lots of other unearthly products. I'm wearing the Blush Single in the shade Burst. I am wearing, this is excessive, but I'm wearing three different liquid lips mixed together. <laughs> I'm wearing Linda, Eva, and Samantha because I just, you know, I was playing in makeup. I was playing in makeup. That's what we came up with. And then I put Cupid on top. So you're thinking, Heather, you're wearing four lip products. Absolutely, I am. And then I'm wearing my low light highlighter palette. What shade? I think, I think I'm wearing, I think I went in with this one, Synthwave. I think that's the one that I'm wearing. But that's what I used for the rest of this look. I am super into it. I feel beautiful. I feel colorful. I feel all the good feelings. But we did only use one, two, three, four, five. We only used five out of the 12 shades in here. So I'm excited to keep playing with this, keep doing more things with it. But... Um, my first experience, it's the same great quality that I expect from Unearthly, another beautiful palette. I've been enjoying their stuff so, so much. Love the artwork, love the shades inside, love the quality, everything. I'm really into it. I keep looking at myself. I love the green and the purple and the shift and the pink. I love it all, but I would love to know 
Are you going to recreate this look? Did you buy this palette? Are you planning to pick this palette up? Are you going to shop your stash? Are you going to recreate this look? Let me know. I hope that whatever you're doing, you're having a super awesome, amazing day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye. Thank you.